Greetings my esteemed subscribers and greetings to everyone at Games Workshop. Now before I begin to elaborate, this video will be quite specific to those of you who are familiar with Warhammer. If you're not, I would encourage you to check out some of my Total War Warhammer videos. I have quite a few of those on my channel, so just search on the channel because I give a, um, an introduction to the lore um, somewhat good, I would say at least, in those videos. So check that out first, then if it sounds interesting you can come back to this video so you understand a bit better what I am talking about. So I've been a Warhammer fan for a very long time, um, actually longer than I haven't been a Warhammer fan. So um, yeah, long time. I used to play a lot of 7th and 8th edition as well, and yeah, I used to paint a bit. Very very nice hobby, very meditative. So yeah, as you can see before you, some some of my work, I sold most of it, but I kept some some fine artifacts of mine. So anyway, in 2015, Games Workshop, who are the creators of Warhammer and Warhammer 40k and Horus Heresy, I've talked a lot about Horus Heresy before, but now we're talking about Warhammer Fantasy. So they decided to destroy the old world, and the old world is what you see in Warhammer Total War, for example. So everything I've talked about is from the old world. So in 2015 they decided to destroy it to create a new setting. Now what happened was that Total War came out in the old setting and everyone absolutely loved it. A lot of new Warhammer fans came in to, yeah, come in to know about Warhammer. Then Vermintide came out, then Chaosbane came out, two computer games, also very popular. So now Games Workshop has decided to bring back the old world, which I am absolutely delighted to hear. So first and foremost to everyone at Games Workshop, thank you, absolutely correct decision. And I would just like to mention something to everyone at Games Workshop here. I've read a lot of Black Library books, a lot of books set in the old world. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm a fan, as I said, uh, great books, especially the Sigmar series, the Elven books as well. Um, and I would say that if you want to get as many people into reading the books or the hobby as possible, the old world is a much more compelling and attractive setting than Age of Sigmar. Because if I want to introduce someone to, to Warhammer, say, my father or my wife or a friend and they don't know anything at all. In the old world I can simply point to the Empire, say, you know what, these guys are 16th century Germans and they are set in um, a very precarious situation, they have chaos encroaching from one side, they have Skaven attacking them from the other cities, they have orcs invasions, Etc. Same thing if we're talking about Britonia. Yeah, it's um, medieval France with a touch of Arthurian legend. It's really easy to relate to, it's really easy to find um, appealing. Now if you compare that with Age of Sigmar, I have a really hard time thinking that anyone finds this compelling because it's not relatable and it's not realistic. Now we talk about fantasy and I say realistic, what do I mean? Yes, I do mean realistic in the sense that it is realistic in a grimdark way. So you might say, oh, is it realistic to have giant rats trying to kill you? No, it's not, but the point is that we're setting humans in a setting where everything is very hard, basically. But it's still humans, we're not trying to change the nature of humans, and you can't really relate to a Stormcast Eternal. You can't really relate to the structure of them. I understand the urge of trying to appeal to as many people as possible, because then you have everyone say, oh, I'm represented here, but you also miss a very important aspect of what makes the games and the settings so intriguing. So I would encourage you to not go down that road, because people aren't stupid either. Your customers aren't stupid, potential customers aren't stupid. They will see if you promote this sort of everyone fits in, that sort of narrative, that sort of setting, you will only turn off people because it's not intriguing in the list. You will attract people with a cool, epic, grimdark setting as the old world has shown. So. Yeah, that's my take on that situation, and I will give some high praise to everyone at 
Games Workshop here, everyone at Black Library, I view you as the heirs of Tolkien. I view you as your world, the Warhammer world, as the natural heir of Tolkien's work. For me, it was the same thing. I got into Lord of the Rings when I was younger, and then I thought, oh, these elves are cool, etc. I wanted more epic stories, basically. So then I went to Warhammer Fantasy. So people want classic elves. People want classic dwarves. They want the Empire. They want Bretonia. They want Tomb Kings. Tomb Kings are, um, well, undead um, ancient Egyptians, basically. Very relatable, very cool. Everyone, I'm certain, when reading up on ancient uh, Egypt, felt a certain... Um, intriguing sensation and the fact that you can play almost them the same thing as you can be almost the Aztecs in um, yeah in being listed men it's a very attractive thing so anyway uh, point of this rambling is that do keep do promote the old world go back to the old world people want it much more than they want uh, the age of Sigmar setting that being said I'm not saying that there is anything wrong with the Age of Sigmar setting. I'm just saying from a long-time fan and admirer of um, the lore and the setting, this is my perspective. And uh, yeah, for my own personal ulterior motive here as well, it's because I want more books in the old world. I want more games in the old world. So Vermintide, for example, I want there to be a third Vermintide, where you can play in third-person view as well. Now, speaking of Vermintide, I would like to give a shout out to one of my oldest and truest of friends, Natty Pete. Um, I mentioned this in this video because A, I mentioned painting, and B, I mentioned Vermintide, and he is my companion when I play Vermintide. So it's um, so yeah, we play Vermintide together, and he painted this for me um, as a belated birthday gift. So it's a painting of me and my daughter uh, based on this photography. So I just wanted to have that said in this video since I mentioned Vermintide and uh, yeah I will link him this video so thank you again Natty Pete. Anyway back to Warhammer setting please do continue the old world. Now that being said I would just like to mention the gaming aspect it would be absolutely great if you do not have square bases, but if you create movement trace where you can place models with round bases so you can use models both in Age of Sigmar and in um, in the old world uh, style of um, tabletop gaming. So you have the skirmish type of game and you also have the classic uh, strategy game. So that was my thoughts, I just wanted to share this um, epic news with everyone and uh, yeah for anyone at games workshop i hope you take my advice on board and uh, yeah thank you for watching xoxo boom